Hello everybody, this is Code2J. Today I will show you how to install and set up MySQL on Mac OS and Windows 10. Sounds exciting? Let's get started. We are on the Mac. In the browser, open the MySQL download link dev.mysql.com slash downloads slash mysql. Here we can download the latest MySQL version 8.0.31. For the operating system, we select the drop down button and select Mac OS. There are two different OS versions Mac OS 12 ARM 64 bit and Mac OS 12 x86 64 bit. The ARM version is for all Mac devices with M1, M1 Pro, Macs, or future Apple Silicon chips, while the x86 version is for those with Intel chips. I'm running a Mac with Intel chips, so I select the x86 version. Then we can see four different download files. The first one is the normal Apple DMG application installation file, which provides a general installation wizard like you install any other app on Mac. If you want to install MySQL from the source, you can try with the compressed files. Let's click the first download button to get the MySQL DMG file. Then I don't want to sign up for an account so I click no thanks, just start my download. Once the download finishes, double click the DMG file, right click the MySQL PKG file to open it. If you see a warning message like the PKG cannot be opened because it is from an unidentified developer, open the system preferences. Go to Security and Privacy and select the General. Here, click Open Anyway and click Open to confirm. Then a pop-up will show saying that the package will run a program to determine if the software can be installed. Just click Allow and we can start the installation process. Click Continue, Continue and agree to the license, then click install, input the username and password, and click install software. Once the installation finishes, we need to configure MySQL server. Select using strong password encryption and click next, and enter a strong password for the default MySQL user with username root. Save the password somewhere or remember it since we will need it in the later steps. Make sure the below button is checked so that the MySQL server will start immediately after the installation. Then click the finish button. Once again, input the password and click OK. Now the installation is finished. We can close it. Let's open the system preferences. We can see the MySQL button. Click it. Here, we can check which MySQL version has been installed and the current active MySQL instance. We can also start and stop the MySQL server, configure whether we want the MySQL server to start when the computer starts up initialize the database and even uninstall MySQL. In the configuration section, we can have more advanced configuration options. Let's open a terminal and try to connect to our MySQL server. Before that, we verify the installed MySQL by the command mysql-help. Oops. It says ZSH command not found MySQL. Don't be afraid. It doesn't mean MySQL is not installed successfully. Probably MySQL is not added to our share path. By default, MySQL executable binary should be installed under the user local directory. 
let's check it to see if there's any MySQL related directory by the command ls-la slash usr slash local slash MySQL. We see the MySQL directory it's linked to our installed MySQL version 8.0.31 directory. Let's check if the MySQL executable binary exists inside the directory by the command ls-la slash usr slash local slash MySQL slash bin slash MySQL. Yes, it did exist. Let's use that MySQL executable binary followed by dash dash help. We see the help output. Great! We can use it to connect to our MySQL database with the default username root and password by the command slash usr slash local slash MySQL slash bin slash MySQL dash u root dash p. Then we need to enter the strong password we have set during the installation. Click enter and boom, we have connected to our MySQL server. We can check the MySQL version by the query statement, select version, parenthesis, semicolon, hit enter, and we can see that version 8.0.31 is returned. Let's type exit and hit enter to exit the MySQL server. We can always use the MySQL absolute path, but I am lazy and I don't want to type the long path every single time. I just want to simply type MySQL instead of the lengthy path, but it is not working currently. Can we fix that? Yes. And it is very simple, actually. We just need to add MySQL to our path. From the error message, we can see I'm running the default Z shell in my terminal. So I need to add MySQL path in the .z profile. If your terminal is using other shells like bash, you need to add it to the .bash profile or .bash RC. OK, let's use the simple command line editor nano to open my.z profile. Here, we can see the Python path has been added. Let's use the down key to go to the end of the file and hit enter to create a new line. We can add a comment noting that we are adding the MySQL path by starting with the hash, then setting path for MySQL. In the next line, we need to type export path command, which you can also find it in this video description. To save our changes, we can press the Ctrl and X keys to exit, then hit the Y key to confirm saving our changes. In the last step, we just use enter key to save it in the same file. Then we use the command source Z profile to tell the terminal to reload the latest Z shell profile. Or you can also simply exit and reopen the terminal. Let's try the command mysql dash dash help again. Now we see the help output. Let's try to connect the MySQL server with the command mysql-u root p and inputs the password. And boom, we are connected. Typing the SQL query statement, select version, parenthesis, semicolon, version 8.0.31 is returned. It means we have MySQL successfully installed and set up on the Mac. We are now on Windows 10. Open the URL dev.mysql.com slash downloads in the browser. Then click the MySQL installer for Windows. There are two installer files. The smaller one needs to download the installation files on the fly for the products you selected to install, while the big one already contains everything you need. Let's download the big one. Then click No Thanks, just start my download.
installed. Once the download finishes, right-click the downloaded installation file and click Install. Click Yes and Yes. Click Yes again to apply for the upgrade. Now we can see the MySQL installation wizard. The first step is choosing a setup type and the default setup is for local development. It will install all the necessary MySQL products for development purposes like MySQL server, MySQL share, etc. Let's select the developer default and click next. In the requirements check step, we can see a list of products on the left that are about to be installed and their requirements. The middle is the requirements for each product. On the right is the status, which indicates what steps need to take to fulfill the requirements. The MySQL installer will try to resolve the requirement if the status is blank. When the status is menu, we need to meet requirements by ourselves. Here we can see we have two requirements that need to be resolved manually. They are MySQL for Visual Studio and Python Connector. If you need to install MySQL for Visual Studio, you have to install Visual Studio first and click Check to resolve. In my case, I don't need it, so I can go back and change the setup type to Custom and select Next. Here, I can customize which product I want to install. Let's select MySQL for Visual Studio in the right section and click the left arrow button to remove it. I want to install the Python connector, so I keep it. Then we click Next. Now we only have to resolve the Python connector requirement, which is Python. Click it, we can see the detail of the requirement, which needs Python 64-bit version 3.7 or above installed it in our system. Let's click the download URL to open it in a browser. Select Python for Windows. Search for the Python version above 3.7. I choose to install Python 3.10.8 and download the Windows 64-bit installer. Once the download finishes, right-click and open it. Make sure the add python.exe to pass is checked and click install now. Click yes to start the installation. In the final step, click on the to disable the pass length limit button and select yes. Now we finish the Python installation and we can close it. Then we go back to the MySQL installation, select the connector Python and click the check button. Now we can see the status changes to complete and a check mark on the left. Then we can start resolving all the other requirements by clicking the execute button. It will start installing the required Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 to 2019. Check the Agree button and click Install. Then we can see all the products have the check mark. Now we click Next and Execute. Once the installation finishes, we click Next to start the product configuration. Click Next to start configuring the MySQL server. Keep the default networking and configure type as development computer, then click Next. Select using strong password encryption for authentication and click Next. Now we need to set up the MySQL password for the root user and click Next. Keep the default Windows Surface setting and click Next. Set the server file permissions as default and click Next. Then click Execute to apply the configuration for the MySQL server. Once it is down, click Finish. Then click Next to configure the MySQL router. Keep the default setting and click Finish. Click Next 
to test the MySQL server connection. Input the root password and click check. We can see the connection succeeded status and the check mark. Click next and execute to apply the configuration. Then click finish once it is down. Now we just need to click the next and finish button to end the installation. It will automatically start the MySQL share and MySQL workbench, which we will cover in the later videos. Now let's go to the search bar, search for CMD and open the command prompt. In the command prompt, Use the command mysql-help to verify the mysql installation. Of course, mysql is not recognized since we didn't add mysql into the path yet. Let's first try with the absolute path of the mysql executable binary. Open the file explorer, navigate and find the mysql installation path in a C driver. Go back to the command prompt. We input the path C program files MySQL MySQL server 8.0 bin MySQL.exe then followed with the dash dash help then hit enter to execute. Now we see the help output. Then we keep the MySQL absolute path at dash u root dash p to connect to the MySQL server with username root and the password we set during the installation and hit enter. We see that we are connected to the MySQL server. We can run the query statement select version parenthesis semicolon to check the installed MySQL version. Great, we saw that version 8.0.31 is returned. Let's add MySQL to the path so that we can simply use MySQL command instead of the lengthy absolute path. We need to go to the file explorer, right click this PC, then select properties. On the right, look for the advanced system settings and click it. Make sure we are in the advanced section, then click the environment variables. Then select pass under the user variables and click the edit button. In the pop-up window, click new. Then we go to the file explorer to copy the absolute pass of the MySQL bin folder and paste it. Click OK to save. Close the windows and go back to the command prompt. Exit the MySQL server. Close and reopen the command prompt to let it load the latest path. Now we try the command MySQL dash dash help instead of the absolute path and we see the help output, which means we have succeeded in adding MySQL to the path. Let's verify it using the command mysql-u root p. Input password, we can connect to the mysql server. Likewise, we test it using the query statement select version parenthesis semicolon to check the version. It outputs the correct mysql version 8.0.31. That's it, you have learned how to install and set up MySQL on Mac OS and Windows. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and click the like button. Feel free to share what SQL topic you want me to cover in the comment section. I will talk to you at the next one. Bye bye.